This is my HP Pavilion computer from 2008. The hardware on it is almost all original. 2.2 GHz quad-core AMD Phenom, 3 GB of RAM, and 500 GB 7200 RPM hard drive. The only difference is the graphics. It used to have a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, but now it uses the motherboard's integrated graphics, which is actually worse. This computer ran Windows Vista quite well, because these specifications were pretty good for the time. But in April 2017, Windows Vista support ended, so I upgraded this computer to Windows 7. You can see that as well as more details about this computer in my other video. But now Windows 7 support has come to an end too. These days I rarely use this computer because I have other ones, so I could just keep Windows 7 on it, it runs well enough. But why not try Windows 10 on it? If anything goes wrong, I'll go back to Windows 7. I did a full system image backup of the hard drive, and now I can insert the Windows 10 USB drive I made and begin the upgrade.
So I've been testing Windows 10 on this 2008 HP Pavilion for a while. Let's start it up now. Yes, the BIOS alone takes that long. 